What do you need in order to obtain mercy? Is it necessary to have a certain predisposition? The first thing that comes to mind is the phrase, I can't take it anymore. You reach a point when you need to be understood, to be healed, to be made whole, forgiven. You need to get up again, to be able to resume your path. As the psalm says, My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A contrite, humbled heart, O God, you will not scorn. Psalm 51, verse 19. St. Augustine wrote, Search within your heart for what is pleasing to God. Your heart must be crushed. Are you afraid that it might perish so? From the mouth of the psalmist comes this reply, A clean heart create for me, God. Psalm 51, verse 12. The impure heart must be destroyed so that the pure one may be created. We should be displeased with ourselves when we commit sin, for sin is displeasing to God. Sinful though we are, let us at least be like God in this, that we are displeased at what displeases Him. Discourses 19, 2-3 The Church Fathers teach us that a shattered heart is the most pleasing gift to God. It is the sign that we are conscious of our sins of the evil we have done, of our wretchedness, and of our need for forgiveness and mercy. How do we recognize that we ourselves are sinners? What would you say to someone who doesn't feel like one? I would advise him to ask for the grace of feeling like one. Yes, because even recognizing oneself as a sinner is a grace. It is a grace that is granted to you. Without that grace, the most one can say is, I am limited. I have my limits. These are my mistakes. But recognizing oneself as a sinner is something else. It means standing in front of God, who is our everything, and presenting Him with ourselves, which are our nothing, our miseries, our sins. What we need to ask for is truly an act of grace.